So it's kind of just a quick look at the lawn here before I get into today's video. Looking pretty good. Cannot complain about that color. You know, we're going to be getting some hot temps in the next couple days here. So Bermuda is definitely going to be loving that. Need to make sure I properly irrigate so I can keep my Bermuda healthy, keep it looking good. But so the next thing here, I don't want you guys to freak out when I show you, but All right, so you might be wondering or thinking to yourself, Dwayne, what the hell happened? Well, it's okay. Because if you look there on the right side of the screen, there is a little pool pump. This was just a little above ground swimming pool that we put out for the summer. Uh, since the summer's kind of coming to an end here, although, of course, it's going to get back up into the high 90s this weekend. <laughs> I feel so bad for my son for taking down his pool. But um, normally it probably wouldn't look like that, but I know throughout the year I've been having a problem with one of the, uh, the clamps there, and it's been... Uh, not really wanting to seal right, so I think a lot of the water has gotten out and leaked underneath the pool. Um, I fixed that later in the year, so I can imagine what it would look like if I never fixed it. So, uh, at the same time though, we are going to use good old-fashioned H2O to clean this up. Now, you know me. Not just H2O. We need to add some power to that H2O. If you want to see what I'm talking about, stay tuned. Alright, so it's been a couple of days since I uh, filmed that video. Um, so it looks a little bit better now. I did just run a garden hose over it, you know, not crazy amount of pressure, but you know, just enough to kind of loosen it up. I think with the heat, it's definitely, uh, taking a toll on that algae. So, uh, but, um, a garden hose, I'd be sitting here all day trying to wash that off. So what are we going to use to be able to clean it up? This is my Honda powered pressure washer. Now it's a 3000 PSI, two and a half gallon minute per minute, uh, pressure washer. It does have the Honda GCV 190 motor. Now I think there's some controversy over this motor on whether or not it's a good motor or not. I like it. I haven't had no issues with it. But again, it's not necessarily a review on it. Um, so I wanted to kind of point out and what the whole purpose of what I wanted to show off today was this attachment that I picked up not that long ago from Amazon. And I'll description below so you guys can take a look at it if you want to uh, pick so one I've up. always kind of debated on whether or not I needed one of these. And I'll tell you, I've owned my pressure washer for the last couple of years. And I've never purchased a surface cleaner, nor have I used one. But I figured, you know what, let me give it a try. Um, and want to do some cleanup work around my concrete. And oh my God, it definitely makes a huge, huge difference when it comes to cleaning your concrete. So we're going to put it to the test today and we're going to see how well it works. But I feel like it's going to do very quick work of that. And with that, let's get to our spraying.
day. So definitely a huge improvement, right? But we're still not done. I'm gonna got one other trick that I wanna show you guys, but definitely, definitely got off all that algae. It's amazing how well that surface cleaner really works. Now, I still got a little bit of area here I could probably run back over, but again, I just wanted to show you guys how well these surface cleaners work. If you do not have one, I highly recommend getting one. Uh, they're not very expensive. It's a great accessory for those of you that already have a pressure washer. The thing I like about it is it gives you this extension handle all the way from there to the actual sweeper itself. So I thought that was great. And I think in some cases you may have to purchase that separately, but it was nice that they included that um, to really make the uh, overall experience and using that uh, the sweeper much, much easier because it puts you at a really good height uh, from when, whenever you're sweeping. Um, but I do have one other trick I wanna show you guys. All right, so this is the last accessory I just wanna show you guys. This is made by Ryobi. I believe they call this the water sweeper uh, or water broom, uh, if I remember correctly. So there's two configurations in it, and let me kind of zoom in here or kind of get in here for a closer, for a closer look. But there's one feature here that really sold me on this that I absolutely love. And that's right here on the right side. If you notice, it says water broom and it says undercarriage. So what this has the ability to do with this head here is you can slide this pin out here and it's spring loaded. Um, and it allows you to change the, uh, the pivoting angle of this attachment. So what does that do? That allows you to be able to use it as a broom as you would in a normal uh, position here. But when you change the angle of this, it then moves these nozzle to an upward position that allows you to be able to spray the undercarriage of your car. So if you're trying to wash off mud, salt, whatever it is, this will also do the job of that. I absolutely love that about this tool. But and for this application today, we're gonna use it to use for that final speed. Take a look here. Looking pretty good, pretty good. Now, for those of you that might be curious, uh, you might see a couple of spots here on my concrete and may have wondered, did the sweeper cause that damage? No, that damage was already there. In fact, this damage, unfortunately, was there prior to me even purchasing the home. So it is what it is. Um, you know, I may one day, if it gets bad, uh, take some concrete patch on there, uh, but it doesn't really bother me. A lot of times we have things on top of here anyway. So not really too, too concerned. Uh, however, I was more concerned obviously about the dirt. Um, and as you can see here, it did a fabulous job cleaning it off. Once this uh, goes dry, it's gonna look a lot like that. It's uh, really that bright white concrete that we all love. Uh, only take probably 30 minutes to dry in this heat. Sometimes we think that, yeah, the pressure washer is ultimately the thing that is going to make a difference, and it does. And it's very important to have a good quality pressure washer, um, such as the one I have here that I definitely enjoy. But you know, to each their own, they may have another model or or designed and or manufactured they choose to go with. So if you have a pressure washer, but no sweeper, I would absolutely say you're missing out. So you definitely wanna look at getting one. You don't necessarily have to get this one. Uh, there's a lot of different options and very similar ones to this that I'm sure will do uh, an absolutely fabulous job, especially if you have a lot of concrete on your property. The Ryobi sweeper, I would say is a little more optional. I love it from the standpoint of being a car enthusiast. I love that undercarriage features I described, uh, but either one of these accessories, definitely great accessories for your pressure washer and would highly recommend one or both. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think it was a little bit different than the things I normally put out, but don't worry, we will get back to lawn care in my next video. Um, just really, this video is really about sharing some of the accessories to really be able to help maximize your pressure washer. You know, I think as homeowners, we always can relate to times where we encounter a problem that we weren't necessarily expecting. You know, I wasn't necessarily expecting to clean up that mess as I was taking down that pool, but at the same time, it's something that maybe as a homeowner, I may have shied away from and or maybe hired somebody out to come clean up when in fact, it's something I could have easily taken care of myself with the right tools. And with that, I hope you guys found the information useful today. And as always, be excellent and party on.